Let's take a look at dividing fractions on a TI-30 excess multi-view. One we're going to work with is 30 divided by 8 divided by 12 divided by 16. Well, we'll push our fraction button, this one right here, and we got 30 over 8. So do 30, and then down arrow to the denominator, and then put 8 in, and then right arrow to get out of the fraction, do my division symbol, and then push my fraction again, and we got 12 over 16. So do 12, down arrow, and then 16, and then right arrow to get it out of the fraction. And then if we press enter, let me see, 30 over 8 divided by 12 over 16, yeah. Press enter, then we get our answer, which is uh, 5. Now, um, it automatically simplifies it and everything, so you don't have to sit there and worry about that part. Uh, very slick way to divide fractions. You can put it in freehand, but if you do, you have to make sure you put parentheses around each fraction. What I mean by that is you put a beginning parentheses, 30, divided by 8, then closing parentheses, divided by, and then parentheses around our second fraction. So beginning parentheses, 12, divided by 16, closing parentheses, and then enter. Um, and they'll give you the same answer. Now, if that came up with a, um, a fraction here, well, fraction up here, then this would have came up with a decimal. We would have to choose FD to switch it to fraction form. So you would have did a second table to switch it. Now, um, if you do not put the parentheses in here, you will not get the correct answer. Maybe on some few oddball ones you will, but most of them you won't. If I do 30, divide by 8, then divided by our second fraction, which is 12, divide by 16, and then press enter, we don't get 5. We get some kind of decimal. And if I were to change it to fraction form, if I did second table, and then press enter, I see I get 5 over 256. So you get a radically different answer. The best uh, way to do it on this calculator, in my opinion, is to use the fraction button right here. Because um, then you don't have to worry about parentheses ever if you use this, this particular button. Now that was uh, multiplying fractions on a TI-30XS multi-view.